roll, man. Ooh, this one looks like a doozy. Iridium <laughs> 3 Carbide. Now, you cannot tell me that is not a cool sounding name. That is a pretty cool sounding name. Yes. Let's just, I just hope I can turn into a formula. <laughs> I'm sure you can. All right. Well, there is a Roman numeral there. That tells me it's a transition metal. Yep. And so we know that, let's see, IR, that would, no, yeah, IR mm -hmm. is Iridium. Yes. So that's a plus three. Yeah, he's an overachiever. He's even got the whole periodic table memorized. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, so plus three. Mm-hmm. And carbide. Ooh. Carbide. Carbide. Now what would that be? Carbon. Carbon. Thank yes. you. Thank Carbon you. can become in a bond like this, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, didn't know that. Yep. Can't know everything. <laughs> so, okay. Now carbon's in group four, right? That's right. So could it be either plus or minus four? Exactly. So based on this, so you gotta think about it. Iridium is metal. Mm -hmm. It's got a positive charge. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense for two things to have a positive charge. They won't bond together. Oh, that's right, of course. So, so it has to be negative four. Precisely. Alright. Mm -hmm. So I guess we you know form the formula as usual, so mm -hmm. you know, I'll do swapping for the quicks quick way. I can't stand swapping, it's so lazy. See, I, at least I <laughs> verify it afterwards. Exactly. It's okay to do it so long as you know, make sure it's right. Exactly. So, that's gonna give me IR4C3. Mm -hmm. And let's see, making sure, so IR, so that's uh, four times plus three, that's equal to positive, positive 12. 12. And then, carbon, that's, 3 times negative 4, that's negative 12, which is 0. Alright. It works. We're all hunky-dory. Cool. Alright. I haven't heard the expression for a long time. Yeah, I like to throw in little expressions occasionally. Anyway, oxygen difluoride. Okay. Well, oxygen and fluorine are both non-metals, so it has to be covalent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so change it up. I'm going to use brown this time. Different colors are good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so oxygen, just an O. Yep. And there's no prefix, and it's the first uh, element, so that means there's just one. That's right. All right. So, and then difluoride. Well, the di means there's two. It's fluoride, so it's just O, F, two. Two ofs. Yep. Yep. Two ofs. Exactly. All right. Very good. Ammonium iodide. Yes. Okay, ammonium. Now... That's the cleaner stuff that you use all the time. Yeah, it's like ammonia. Now, I know ammonia is NH3, but this is ammonium. Mm -hmm. Polytonic ion, so... Yep. If I remember correctly, that just has one more hydrogen than ammonia. Yep. So that's NH4. Has a plus one charge, I think. That's right, because remember, since you're adding a hydrogen, hydrogen is usually a positive charge, so there you go. Oh, all right, that makes sense. All right, iodide. Mm -hmm. well, that's just an I with a minus. Yep. Group seven. So. Hey, look, put them together. Yep. N H four I. All right. That looks pretty nifty. Mm hmm. All right, barium hydroxide. Barium hydroxide. All right. Let's think about this. So barium. If I'm not mistaken, that's a. B A. Yep. And then it's in group. Oh, it's in group two. So it's in group two. It's plus two. Plus two charge. All right. And then hydroxide, O H. Mm -hmm. Even though it's hydroxide, it's O H. Yeah. Go figure. Anyway, so if I remember correctly, that is a negative one. Yep. Oxygen is usually negative two. Hydrogen is usually plus one. So, so it balances out to be just a negative. All right. So if that's a minus one, I need you know, to neutralize this plus two. So mm -hmm. I would need two of these to cancel out this plus two. So I guess that exactly. would be E A. And then parentheses. Yes, good. remember parentheses because it's one thing. Mm -hmm. Two. Exactly. Remember that for all your polyatomics. If you have to have more than one polyatomic, yeah. don't forget. So you can't do this. Because that just says you have two hydrogens, and that wouldn't make much sense. Exactly. This is saying you have one barium, one oxygen, 
two hydrogens, but the correct way is with the parentheses to say you have exactly two hydroxides, the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that was a pretty good exercise right there. It was, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Best way to learn nomenclature is to just do a lot of practice and get yeah, real fast That's at it. pretty much all there is to it. Mm -hmm. All righty. Well done, Kevin. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. See ya.